Happy 4th of July, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm, and this is Weather for Weather Geeks on this Thursday evening. We're going to update, of course, tonight's rain situation, which is all important for local fireworks displays. We'll take a look at the rest of the holiday weekend and beyond in this video. But uh, one thing for sure, while today was not as hot as yesterday, it was just as humid as yesterday. Those dew points are way up there into the tropical 70s, and we've squeezed out some raindrops in that tropical air mass. In fact, so many raindrops that during the 6 o'clock hour, the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh did hoist a flood advisory for kind of the eastern half of Columbiana County and just about all of Lawrence County as well, the northern half of Beaver County over into western PA. Now, the forecast today was always a tricky one, and there was more rain than certainly we, we bargained for over the last couple of hours. It's rained just about everywhere in our viewing area over the last couple of hours. But the good news as far as timing goes, while this did no doubt impact some barbecues and picnics and 4th of July activities late this afternoon into early this evening, as we head towards fireworks time this evening, we're not going to see this big blob of rain. What was responsible for the steady, even heavy rain for a time late this afternoon? Something we call an MCV, Mesoscale Convective Vortex actually just a mini area of low pressure. You can pick it out on the radar. There's almost a swirl on the radar um, as this feature moved through. And these things are very, very hard to predict more than 12 to 18 hours in advance. So we didn't see this coming yesterday. And so again, there was more rain than we bargained for late this afternoon. But fireworks time coming up in a couple of hours after I record this video. You'll notice the activity that is upstream is very scattered and random in nature. And I think that'll be the case for the next few hours. If you're unlucky, as we head towards 9, 9.30, you may get under one of these downpours. But I think the vast majority of us will not. So I'm still pretty optimistic that we'll get in a fair amount of our fireworks displays this evening without too many weather-related problems, even though we do have that chance of a passing shower or even a downpour. The front that we've been talking about over the last couple of days stalling just to our south, as it turns out, stalled just to our north. That front kind of hung up right through here instead of right down here. And that made a pretty big difference as far as our weather today. The dew point stayed up. And again, it allowed for that MCV to come across and bring us the period of, of rain and downpours late this afternoon and early this evening. Quick detour down to the tropics, because uh, this, of course, has made national headlines over the last few days. Uh, some fatalities, unfortunately, in Jamaica as Barrel rolled overhead yesterday. Barrel is now a Category 2 storm, getting set to make landfall tonight in Mexico, then reemerge across the Gulf of Mexico later this weekend. And uh, another landfall likely late this weekend, early next week, along the Mexican coast or perhaps South Texas as well. And it's still a possibility that the moisture from Barrel eventually makes the turn and has some impacts on the mainland U.S. It won't be a hurricane or anything even close to it at that point. But it's possible that the raindrops associated with Barrel will impact some inland areas as we go into next week. All right, Storm Prediction Center outlook for day two. That's Friday and Friday night. Low end... Uh, level one on our one to five scale risk of severe weather. But I'll tell you, I think this is a pretty marginal risk and I also think it's primarily focused on pretty late in the day. I think we're going to get away mostly dry during the daylight hours on our Friday. The best forcing for thunderstorms really does not arrive until we head towards dinner time and beyond. Now this model depiction is one of the faster that uh, I've seen. It, it has a band of broken showers and storms moving through as early as five or six. That's a little bit of an outlier right now. A lot of our other uh, high resolution modeling suggests that it'll be closer to the frontal passage later in the evening that we have the best chance of showers and storms. Either way, um, there is some wind shear aloft. Uh, there's probably a fair amount of instability aloft as well with uh, the heat and humidity building tomorrow. So any storm that does roll through, whether it's early evening or later in the evening, will have the potential to be feisty even though I don't think the coverage is necessarily going to be all that high. This front then rolls through by daybreak Saturday, and we're in great shape with finally lowering dew points Saturday afternoon. Now, we're not going to have the kind of air mass we had a few days ago back at the beginning of the week when dew points were down in the 40s, but those dew points will at least retreat to the 50s for a time Saturday afternoon and into Sunday as well. Just a fine end to the upcoming weekend. A couple of long-range thoughts as we wrap up this brief video. You know, this is not striking me as a particularly excessively hot pattern. Um, and overall, July, I think, is certainly go going to go to the record books as warmer than average. But it may be weighted towards the second half of the month, the more frequent 90-degree days. 
you know, we had that stretch at the end of June. But this stretch over the next 10 days, you know, we're going to flirt with 90 a couple of times, but I don't see a ridge plopping itself down over the eastern U.S. in this 10-day period. It's going to be mostly, mostly centered over the west, and that's going to keep the highest heat out there. So, yes, it'll be very warm. I don't see any sort of big cooldowns or strange July cooldowns coming our way, but I also don't see any sort of stretch like we had last week when we had five out of six days with highs in the 90s. Hope you and yours had a good 4th of July holiday. Stay tuned on social media this evening for the latest on the rain. Make sure you have the Storm Tracker 21 app downloaded if you'll be out and about celebrating the 4th this evening. Make it a great night. I'll see you back here on Friday.